Okay, so for today's square, I'm using Bernat Super Value. It is a worsted weight yarn, and this is the color bright yellow. And I will be using a five, ooh, won't focus. There we go, 5.5 .5 millimeter crochet hook. So this, <clears throat> this pattern's really quite simple. Um, we, I have for February square, I did a mini uh, corner to corner. So today we're going to do a corner to corner, but with trebles instead of um, half doubles. So you're going to start with the slip knot. And you're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So then you're going to yarn over twice for your treble and you're going to work in the fifth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, and right over here. And we're going to treble crochet right into that chain. And we're going to yarn over twice again and we're going to put one treble in each of the next two chains. So if you haven't done a treble crochet, all you do is you yarn over twice, go into your stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Pull through two. <laughs> so that's the first little square. So then we're going to chain up seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to work in the fifth chain from the hook again. So one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to treble crochet. And we're going to treble crochet in the next two chains. So then it kind of looks like this, so you're going to want to turn this piece like this and we're going to be slip stitching right into the chain 4 space here. So you just want to go ahead and slip stitch so it looks like that. You're going to chain up 4, which, count, which counts as a treble. going to put three more treble crochets right in that chain four space. Oops. So that's row two. So this was row one and this is row two. It's very simple. And so we're going to move on to row three and it's the same thing over and over again from here on out. And I'm just going to show you a little trick. So when you chain up your seven, what I do, instead of having to count back and how many chains to start my trebles in, what I do is I chain up. So I go one, two, three. And I know I'm going to work in this chain here. So what I do is I just kind of pinch it and then I continue four, five, six, seven, and then I'm going to treble right where I was pinching there, which is the fifth chain from the hook. And that's just how I do it, so then I don't have to continue, continuously count back. So yeah, we're just going to treble in each of the next two. That. And we gotta kind of flip this because it kind of works it upside down. So you just flip it. Kind of looks like a little heart right now. <laughs> You're gonna slip stitch right into the chain four space here. Chain up four, which counts as a treble. 
but you're usually working in that chain. <laughs> and then we're going to put three more treble crochets right in that chain four space. One. Two. Okay, and then you're going to slip stitch into the next space and chain up four. And three treble crochets into that chain four space. One, two, So each, you're continuously increasing as you go. So I'll show you that one more time. So we're going to chain up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Treble crochet in the fifth chain from the hook. And then in the next two chains. One. And two. Then you're going to kind of flip it. And you're going to slip stitch into the chain four space here. Chain up four. Put three more trebles right into that space. Okay, slip stitch into the next chain four space, and again, chain four, and three trebles. chain four space and just repeat so you should have something that looks like this so far so you're just going to repeat that as it grows and I will come back and tell you how many rows I had to do to get to 12 inches Okay, so I just got finished um, with all my increasing and I have a total of 11 rows and an easy way to count that is you just start at the corner here and you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. So now we're going to start decreasing. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to chain 1 and turn. And we're going to just slip stitch over and into the chain four space. Okay. And then we're going to chain up four and do like we had been and put three trebles in the chain four space. slip stitch over into the chain four space and just keep doing that just like we had been building the blocks before we're just decreasing on the edges now so it's very simple but I think it looks with the trebles it makes it a little bit more um, Like the, it makes it a little bit more open, like the holes are a little bit more open, I find. And it works up really fast because of the treble crochets. And I 
I just think it looks neat. Especially with uh, like a solid color, like you can obviously do this with any color or variegated. Um, but I think with a solid color, you really see the stitch definition more. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys just continue with your blocks for this row and I will meet you back up here. Okay, so I'm just about to finish off this square here. Oops. Okay, so then you're going to again slip stitch into the top of the chain 4 there, but you're not going to work up. What you're going to do is chain 1 and turn your work. And then like before, you're going to slip stitch over into the chain 4 space. Right into it, and you're just going to repeat. So you're going to chain up four, and do your block. So it's very, very easy. I just wanted something simple. <laughs> Oops, almost missed a chain. <laughs> I'm sliding an awful lot with this yarn. <laughs> it's not like it's a super soft yarn like when it gets softer when you wash it but anyways I will let you guys continue on with decreasing and I will show you how to finish off at the last point Okay, so I'm just finishing my second to last row. I just wanted to show you how I finish off. It's very easy. So I just have one little square to do left. So you're going to do it like you normally would for your decrease. that and then all you're going to do is you're going to slip stitch into the chain 4 space so you should have your square a little lopsided here just because of my tension but that's okay and then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to fasten off I'm just going to do that like that and you just weave in your ends and that's all it takes to make this square if you guys have any questions um, about this tutorial please feel free to email me at kaylacrochetlove at gmail.com and that is it for today guys i'll talk to you later bye